Growing up, this was an escape, a place where I would come to write, to think. Whenever I record in LA, it's nice to come home and listen to the music. I think it's so crucial for everyone to go back to their origins, to go back to the beginning. And this is a street I grew up on. It feels good to be connected to a city that was once small and just continues to grow. A reflection of everything that my parents and my family instilled in me. Welcome to St. Mary's. This is my high school. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I'm back. It has been years we aren't counting. <laughs> I am definitely not in dress code. <laughs> I was always a scholar, I was on the honor roll, I was very studious, but I think they let me daydream in the back of the class, writing songs and just visualizing myself on a stage one day. And I was always so shy and in this shell that I think they let me do that so that I could open up and shine. This campus really shaped me as an artist. I think they always saw the light in each and every one of us. This gymnasium is my first ever performance for more than five people. This place is the foundation of my dreams. <laughs> I'm actually gonna cry, oh my God. <laughs> Coming back here, it feels like home and uh, another dream come true. Incredible mural of my mentor oh my. by far oh, that wow. I've ever seen. My name is Maggie Keen. I'm a freelance artist. I do murals and all kinds of other different things, but this is my biggest mural so far that I've done, and it's my favorite. Of all of these, it's the third eye girl. When he invited me to go on tour, I actually didn't know that I was going to be performing. He points at me, tells me to come this way. I'm shaking. I'm like, this is insane. And the beat starts and he had me cover his song in front of all those people for the first time. No rehearsal, no nothing. My third eye goodness. girl. And so the fact cool. that it's here painted in my city means the absolute world to me. Anytime I come back home, it's me grounding again in my origins. It's me really rooting myself in family. I'm so excited to bring you guys to a place called Rito's with my dad, a childhood favorite, somewhere we used to come all the time when I was growing up. Hi, Miss Charlotte. Hi, Miss. How are you? <laughs> when he said you toured with Prince for a couple of years, I'm like, she found, she found her calling. She found her dream. Good luck here. Let's go. Have you tried the red and the green? Oh, I want the red and the green. Oh, that sounds good. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I want the green. It's time to eat. My family. We never really had a lot, but we always had enough. Rito's was one of those places that ensured that we had enough. The times when my dad was working several jobs, when my brother and I were you know, in school and he was a single dad, he invested so much in our actual interests and our creativity. Oh, she just always had a passion for writing, singing, and my mother told her, you know, you're gonna be a star. So I had to help make that come true, you know. LA is such a fast-paced city, so it's nice, you know, whenever I have a chance to come home and come to some of the places I used to sit and think and just, you know, really reconnect with my inner child and my upbringing. When you're an artist or just a human being existing in the world, if you're lucky enough to know where you're from and you're lucky enough to be connected to where you're from, it's beautiful to see exactly where you started so you can know exactly how far you've come. 